The process of demoralization may not have started at all if at that point the country, which is a recipient of subversion, actively, not violently, but actively, prevents importation of foreign ideology. I don't want America to follow the pattern of ancient Japan. You don't have to shoot every foreigner when it approaches the sacred borders of the United States. But when he offers you a junk in the disguise of very shiny something, you have to tell him, no, we have our own junk. <laughs> At that point, the society is strong, brave, and conscientious enough to stop importation of ideas which are foreign. Then the whole chain of events could be prevented. Recently I've been to the Philippines and I was shocked how in big cities like Manila, children listen to deafening music. A melodious nation with long traditions of, of good, nice ethnic music introduced by Spanish long time ago, maybe two centuries, three centuries ago, I don't remember how. All of a sudden listen to musical garbage, blasting their radios at, at full blast, at the, the full volume. Why? In India, I spent many years watching the reactions of Indians walking out of movie theaters after seeing Hollywood production. They, they couldn't figure out why Americans are so wasteful. They smash their cars, their shiny cars every five minutes. How come they shoot each other for half million dollars? Is it true that they're so sex, sex uh, uh, I mean obsessed with sex? Can you imagine showing a movie where each five minutes there's a copulation on the screen to a country like India with long traditions, tradition of, of uh, respect to, to this private matters, or to Pakistan. And United States expect these people to respect you? No way. Oh yes, they will see the movie, they'll pay five rupees to see that garbage. But they walk out and will tell their kids, don't respect Americans, don't be like Americans. See? So, the process of demoralization could be stopped right here, both as an expert and as an import. And that takes one step, one very important thing to do. You don't have to expel all the KGB agents from Washington, D.C. The most difficult and at the same time the simplest answer to the subversion is to start it here and even before by bringing back the society to religion something that you cannot touch and eat and put on yourself but something that rules society and makes it move and preserve it a Soviet scientist Shafarevich who has nothing to do with religion he is a computer scientist did a very intensive research <clears throat> on the history of socialist countries. He calls socialist or communist <clears throat> any country with a centralized economy and a pyramidal style of power structure. And he discovered, actually he didn't discover it, he just brought to attention of, of his readers, that civilizations like Mohenjo-Daro in the river Hindus area, like Egypt, like Maya, Incas, like Babylonian culture, collapsed and disappeared from the surface of earth. The moment they lost religion, as simple as that, they disintegrated. Nobody remembers about them anymore. Well, distantly. <clears throat> so, the ideas are moving society and keeping mankind as a as, as society of human beings, intelligent, moral agents of God. The facts, the truth, the exact knowledge may not. 
all the sophisticated technology and computers will not prevent society from disintegrating and eventually dying out. Have you ever met a person who would sacrifice his life, freedom, for the truth like that? This is truth. I never met a person who said, this is truth and I'm ready to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> to defend the truth. Right? But millions sacrifice their life, freedom, comfort, everything for things like God. Like Jesus Christ. It's an honor. Some martyrs in, in the Soviet concentration camp died. And they died in peace. Unlike those who shouted, long live Stalin, knowing perfectly well that he may not live long. <laughs> something which is... Something which is not material moves society and helps it to survive. And the other way around. The moment we turn into two by two is four and make it a guiding principle of our life, our existence, we die. Even though this is true and this we cannot prove. We only can feel and have faith in it. So the answer to ideological subversion, strangely enough, is very simple. You don't have to shoot people, you don't have to aim mi missiles and Pershings and cruise missiles at Andropov's headquarters. You simply have to have faith and prevent subversion. In other words, not to be a victim of subversion. Don't try to be a person who in Zudo is trying to smash your enemy and being caught by your hand. Don't strike like that. Strike with the power of your spirit and moral superiority. If you don't have that power, it's high time to develop it. And that's the only answer. That's it. Thank you.